Welcome. This is 49G6 and this is potential energy and potential caused by a group of charges. Okay. So now here's our visualization. We have a group of charges and we have say Q1 and Q3 maybe uh, say positives and uh, Q1 and Q2 may be positives and maybe Q3 is negative. Each one has its own distance to the point of interest. Um, so let's remember something that electrical potential and electrical potential energy are both scalars. So it actually simplifies problems like this. In the past when we did electric field we had to take into account the direction of the effect but in this case it's just a, a, a scalar effect and so we can just add the, the scalar values together we say um, we can use the superposition principle to determine the electric potential at a point caused by more than one charge and basically all we're going to do is we're going to say well V is equal to KE because it's common to all of them multiplied by the sum of basically each charge divided by each charge's distance from the point of interest. And if we choose to put a daughter charge at point P, then we can say, what's the kinetic energy of that daughter charge? And we say, well, it's simply, well, it's Q, little q times this. So the uh, uh, ab, uh, the uh, um, uh, energy is equal to Ke times the daughter charge because that's common to, to all the effects times the sum of each charge divided by the separation between the daughter charge and the charge of interest. So it works out quite nicely. Just a word to the wise, this is not the kinetic energy of all of this system. It's just the kinetic energy associated with this guy. And so we say, uh, what is the absolute electric potential at point P? So I'm going to say that my V is equal to Ke times the sum of each Q, Qi, over each separation, Ri. I, I is the first one, the second one, the third one, in order. So V is equal to Ke. And then we're going to put this in and we're going to say, well, it's going to be plus 6 over 2. I do take into account the sign of the charges. Added to, let's do the, the next one, which is plus 3 divided by 3. That's the one on this side. And then the one in the middle. Added to, uh, this is a minus 2. Minus 2 divided by 4. So V is equal to Ke, and this would be 3 plus 1 minus 0.5. So this should be uh, 4 minus a half is 3.5 Ke volts. And that is the value. It's a positive 3.5 Ke volts because the dominating charges were positive charges. That is the potential at that point there. Very simple. We just add these guys up. What if we decide this is the same system? What if we decide to put a minus 8 Coulomb charge there? Then I can say, let's go back to first principles. U is equal to, what would it be? It would be Q times V. So the, potential, the, the uh, potential energy is equal to minus 8 times oh, plus 3.5 Ke. Don't forget your Ke. So U is equal to uh, 8 fives, uh, 40, put down the 0, carry 4, 8 threes are 24, and 2 makes 28. And that's going to be there. So it's going to be minus 28 Ke and that will be in joules. Now, negative, negative uh, uh, 
energy, positive energy. If I wanted to bring a positive charge here, I'd have to press it in. I'd have to push it towards these because these two, the six coulomb positive and the three coulomb positive will be saying, stay away. But I'm putting the opposite in. I'm putting a negative charge in there. So what's basically happening is this thing, I'm having to hold this thing out. I'm having to uh, do the opposite, and so I get a negative, a negative sign on that. And there we have it.